Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa from Crafty Elvira and in today's video I'm going to be doing a wood sign for my friend Susan. So I'll be teaching you, well, I'll be showing you how I do everything step by step. So keep on watching! So I have leftover pieces of wood from previous projects. So I went ahead and got this one and I sanded it and it needs a fresh coat of white paint. So I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. So while that dries, I went ahead and went to Cricut Design Space and I made myself a decal. And I'm using um, Dollar Tree vinyl and I'm just using it as a stencil. And that's my Cricut. So what I plan on putting on this sign is Amazing Grace with the music. And I bought it from Etsy and I'll link it down below. So I'm weeding the words with my Cricut weeding tool. And just being very careful because it's tiny. I like to use Solid Tree Vinyl for stencils because it's so affordable. It's just a dollar and you just throw it away. So that's very good. I know you can't see, but there's actually a quote at the bottom, so that's what I'm taking out right now. So now that I weeded everything, I'm going to use Dollar Tree Transfer Tape. And I'm going to cut it to size, and then cut out the excess with my X-Acto knife and a ruler. That way I can actually place it on the wood that I have. Now I'm using my Cricut squeegee and just, I'm just pressing on the vinyl so it can adhere to it. And I'm turning over my mat and I kind of ripped the, the backing of the vinyl but it's okay. Now that my wood is dry, I'm placing my, my, my stencil on the wood but it was a little bit too big. So my solution to the problem was to cut one part first and then the quote that was at the bottom I'll do last but you get to see that in just a little while. So now I'm just taking away the transfer tape and I'm going to do the top part first. I'm not going to use Mod Podge on this, I'm just going to go straight to the paint. So I'm using a brush from Dollar Tree and I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink. And I'm just going to give it a coat of black paint. So just make sure not to put a lot of paint because then it will bleed a lot. So just start with the light coat and then just add more paint. And you don't have to let it dry, you can just go ahead and peel off the vinyl. So that's what I'm doing, I'm taking off my stencil. And with my weeding tool, I'm gonna go and weed the parts that I don't need.
Now I'm adding the second part and it says Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. And I'm going to repeat the same process. Just start with a coat of black paint and dab it. And then add on more paint. Then I start peeling the vinyl away and with my Cricut weeding tool, I weed everything out. Now I'm going back with the ivory paint and I'm just going to fix the little bleeding that went on. So if you make a mistake, no worries, you can always go back and fix it. Just use a paintbrush and just cover up your mistakes. And that's it guys. This is my amazing gray sign that I made for my friend and it's beautiful. So if you liked today's video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with another crafty video guys. Peace!